Andy, do you order some Fox Jacks? What? What? There's another package for you. More? Here you go. Whoa! Damn! What a day! Man! Hey guys, and welcome back to Full Send TV. Today, we are gonna unbox a Fox X2 float factory and the all new Fox 38, also factory. Wow! So, let's do the X2 first. Whoa! Those are volume spacers and a nice sticker. And what do we got here? Oh man! Wow! And you even got the lock out here. Wow! So now let's go on with the 38. Wow! Damn! It looks much bigger in reality than it does in photos. Oh. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Just look at this beauty here. It's all Kashima coated everywhere. Wow, damn. And it's quite heavy, but super, super big. So as the name already says, those stanchions here who are painted in the Kashima coating are 38 millimeters of diameter. So pretty, pretty thick. <laughs> um, then you have several adjustments. So first and obvious is like the air adjustment up here. That's normal for a air fork. Then the second thing is that you can take those volume spacers which they give you and you put them up in here you open the air chamber and then it adds progressivity so what that means is that it's still very very supple at the beginning but at the end stroke up here it's getting much more stiff and harder so you don't bottom out all the time um, then let's go up here this is the compression we have two compressions so first of all the high speed compressions at the outside that means if you have fast impacts how supportive the fork is and in black those low speed compression clicks um, what do we have more so let's go down a bit down here this is the rebound you have to open this cap and then you have two independent rebounds so again high speed rebound is the big one and low speed rebound the smaller one so we can play a lot with those settings as much as you want actually <laughs> and this is the grip two damper so that means that you have those two adjustments up here and the two down there there's just a damper in here and then um, this fork has only been introduced this June or May I'd have to look it up but um, it's really really new so there's only a 2021 model and what they did with this one is that first of all um, you have this new arch here it's much rounder and not um, like squarey at the old one um, then another new thing is um, are those channels here I don't think you can see them, but you definitely feel them. So there's oil down here. And if you go through the travel, the oil can go up here into the seals. So they are well lubricated all the time and don't dry out. Um, and then under those red caps, there are those bleeder ports. And this is actually if you run your fork and you go to a higher altitude or you change your altitude a lot, there is it's uh, there is a big possibility that, that there is uh, air building up in your lowers. So with those ports, you can just push them 
and then this air can get out. But also, if the fork goes through its travel, it is possible that some air gets stuck in the lower, so you can just release it with this button. And also, you have threaded holes in here, and you can take off that. And Fox made a um, mud fender, a mud guard, um, to screw on, so you don't have to use the zip tires. But me personally, I don't think I'm going to do this. Maybe I'll do them. I also like the designs with the zip tires. And, um, oh yes, another new thing for 2021 is that we have a floating axle. Um, that means if you have different hub width, it can be that the lowers are forced to get a bit more in this direction, just a little, little bit. But that adds friction to the stanchion, so you have more friction. And to reduce that, Fox made um, this floating axle, so you can adjust it to your hub width. And also I have this with um, this lever here, so it's a bit easier. I don't know if I'm going to put a screw-on thing there, but we'll see. So let's go to the X2. So to the X2, um, first of all, we also have this air valve here, so we can put in the air in the shock. And then as well as in the fork, we have the volume spacers to add progressivity. With the shock, they look like this. Those are those plastic parts. Um, and you have to add them down here. You have to open it, unscrew it, and then you're there. Um, again, as in the fork, we have the compression up here. Um, but this time, you can just do it with clackers and because you need a Allen key to set this up correctly. Um, again, we have high speed compression and low speed compression. The high speed being the bigger Allen key and the smaller Allen key inside of it is the low speed compression. And then with rebound, it's again high speed and low speed. The low speed rebound is up here. And new for the 2021 shocks is that the those, uh, high speed rebound is down there. And this again is a clacker. Um, exactly, then what do we have else? This is the um, firmer up. So this is a lockout system. So if you're climbing and you don't want to have all this pedal bob, um, you can just switch it up, off or on as you want for descending or ascending. So I think that's about it with the new X2. One thing I forgot to mention is those two suspension units are both factory. Um, so this means it's the top model that Fox makes. Um, so we have this Kashima coating, that's the gold part on the stanchion here and here, that's on both. And so I'm really stoked in that. And now I think we're already through everything. So I say, I hope that you liked this little presentation. I'm definitely going to make a comparison to my old forks and shocks because I know them quite well. Um, but I first have to have the bike <laughs> to ride it, so you're gonna, you're definitely gonna see more tech of those two things in the future.